Hey, it's Joel, the 3D Printing Nerd, and on today's episode, I'm gonna tell you why hashtag 3D Pink Mafia is a thing and demonstrate a model from the Zortrax model library. I know. Well, you'll get it. Just a moment. All right, let's do this. You ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. Like, uh, like, you may be guessing, what the heck is hashtag 3D Pink Mafia? Well, that is a celebration of all filaments pink. So there's, there's two reasons why that's important. One, my buddy Preston over at Press Reset loves printing in pink filament because it's usually the cheapest filament you can buy. And two, my friend Heather just adores the color pink. And I had a pink roll of Zortrax z Ultrat filament and one video left to satisfy my contractual obligations to Zortrax. So I'm gonna demonstrate a model from their model library and I'm gonna print it in pink for my friend Heather. The model I'm gonna talk about and show you is the tea lily. The tea lily was found in the Zortrax model library by Heather. I said, Heather, I have this roll of pink filament, but I need to print it on my Zortrax machine and the model needs to come from the Zortrax model library. Can you help me out? And sure enough, she did. And she said, how about this tea lily? It's supposed to print with the Z-Ultrat filament. And sure enough, the pink filament I had was the Z-Ultrat filament. So, well, let's do this. I loaded that tea lily up into the slicer and then I sent it over to the Zortrax machine and I printed it out. And of course I filmed a time-lapse. So, are you ready? Time-lapse. Well, hey, that was a good time lapse. It showed off the Zortrax printing this, and this is the little tea light. It's like a tea cozy or tea something. Uh, it is plastic, so I highly recommend you don't actually use a burning flame as a, as a tea light. You can get one of those little LED tea lights to put in there. I, I don't know. Don't let me tell you what to do. If you wanna put fire to this thing, more power to you. But Heather, this is for you. This is your tea light. This is your little tea cozy. This is your, your tea lily. Ah, uh, this turned out really good. And thankfully, I had more filament on the roll, so I printed three more. <laughs> yes, I hope you like your little tea lilies because there's, there's four in total. They're all printed on that Zortrax M200 3D printer, all printed with the pink Z Ultrat filament, all to satisfy your hashtag 3D Pink Mafia. I did leave the support on these so that you and Travis can really, really get the full effect and remove Zortrax support filament from their models. Wait, what? More? Okay, how about a pink TARDIS? I did remove most of the filament uh, support from this. And, oh, you know, the Zortrax isn't, uh, isn't enclosed, so when you're printing tall things, you will get some places where it does split. That's okay, I think the Zortrax has optional sides. I didn't get access to those. And you, you can repair this, you can fill this in and paint it pink with some of your pink paints because I'm sure you've got some pink paints lying around. Still more filament left on that roll, so you get a Harry Potter Elder Wand, and it goes together like this. You have to glue it because it'll, it'll fall apart fairly easily, but once you do, you can sand it down and you can use that video that Bill Duran of Punish Props and I put together showing you how to actually sand these down and make them look awesome. Of course, if you do paint this, it will no longer be pink, but that's okay because you're awesome, Heather. Last and certainly not least is this. This is the 3D Printing Nerd Maker Coin. Yes, your husband made a much better Maker Coin, but I don't care. I printed this one at the lowest resolution on the Zortrax machine and the Z, so that's 0.09 millimeter layer heights. It's, well, it's smooth. If you if you feel this this little incline right here, this little, this little divot, it's, it's really smooth. And you'll get to feel that because I'm going to send this to you along with the tea lights and the TARDIS and the, the wizard's wand and I don't know, I'll throw you a stick or two, how about that? We need to discuss, why is pink filament important? Well, it's one of the cheapest filaments usually you can buy because it's one of the least purchased filaments. And I think that all filaments deserve to be printed and Heather would agree. So she's got the hashtag 3D Pink Mafia and this is your chance to celebrate any of your pink prints. If you have pink filament, please print something in pink, share it on Twitter, and use the hashtag 3D Pink Mafia. Don't worry, if I see it and it's awesome, I'll retweet it. But let's, 
let's celebrate pink filament. Let's print all of the things in pink we can and let's, let's give that filament its day. What do you say? I know this was just a quick little video, but I would really like to see your pink prints. And don't forget to use the hashtag 3DPinkMafia. That's gonna be the way that I find all the prints and retweet the awesome ones, and I'd love to see what you're able to print. Hey, thanks for watching. Again, you know what? You guys are awesome, and I appreciate every moment you spend watching the crap that I put on YouTube. Hey, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you're a fan of Pink Filament. Leave a comment down below if, if you have a question. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. They are awesome and deserve all the high fives. And last but certainly not least, don't forget to hug each other more often. I love you guys. Go Cubbies. As always, high five.